data into a categorical frequency distribution, and then how to convert the table created, which is the frequency distribution, into a graph, meaning into a histogram, or bar graph, or column graph. Look at the data we have. So we have the blood types of 28 soldiers from the UAE Army, randomly chosen. Uh, they are ranged in values from A to O and so on. We do have other blood types, but these are uh, what is reflected in the sample. Now, to transform these into a table, into a frequency distribution, and we say categorical because I'm dealing with qualitative data, not quantitative. I have categories here, meaning blood type A, B, A, B, and O. The function in Excel that will allow me to count how many A's I have in this table is a count function. However, I have a condition to stipulate. I'm counting only the A's, and then I'm going to count only the B's, and so on. So to start any formula in Excel, it is COU. And notice, I get all the count functions. The one I'm interested in is the count if. Double click it, highlight the table, and this table is fixed. So as I count the entries in the different categories, this range, the source of data does not change. So to fix it in Excel, I'm going to press the key F4. This will add the dollar signs to the range selected. It means if you copy this condition, this command, if you copy it down, nothing is going to change. So this one, the table will be held as is. And then comma, the one I'm counting is the A. So click on the A cell and that is in G6 or G7. And now we close the bracket. This will look into the table, every single entry, count how many of these entries are A's and will give me the answer. It is 6. I don't have to repeat the function to the other cells because dragging after fixing the range for the table will make it right. So look here. If you look at the B, double click it to see what is the function actually you have copied. Notice the table range is fixed. It's the same as the previous one. It's the same as the one after from A6 to D12. But now I'm counting the Bs and that means G8. And this is how we get them. To verify that I have um, included every single entry I have, let's look at it. Do I have 28? My total is 28. So let me add up these cells. Do I get 28? Look at this uh, command. That is the auto sum. Double click it. This will give me 28. So yes, I do have the right answer. Now, to convert this into a table, we'll highlight the entire table without the 28, including titles, of course. We go to the insert, and then we select column. Notice you can choose from two-dimensional to three-dimensional. I'm not going to make it fancy this time. i just choose the simple one, two-dimensional. Look at it. It's masking, it's hiding some of the information. This is not professional. So what I'm going to do is to move this chart into a separate sheet. So I'm going to right click on the chart and say move chart into a new sheet. And I'm going to give it a name. This is the blood types of soldiers. Notice now, it gives me more space so I can manipulate it and present it in a more professional way. If you look at my graph, it doesn't look professional. All the colors are the same. I have the grid lines. I have the legend. Uh, I don't see any titles. Look at the numbers. They're so tiny. I can barely read them. So we're going to fix all of these problems. First, talking about a single series, I don't need the legend here. This is meaningless. We take it out. Look at the horizontal grid lines. Also, if you click on any line, whether this line or that line, it will select all these lines. Look at the circles that you see uh, the, on, the, uh, on the edges of each line. I don't need these, so delete them. Next, the colors, I'm going to make them different. So right-click on any rectangle, any rectangle. And then you say uh, Format Data Series. You go to the fill and vary colors by point and close. Notice now I have four different colors instead of one. Next, look at the letters, the blood types. 
click on any of them it will select the entire row all of this so a b all of them now are we look at the border around it so we're gonna make it bigger so we go home and then make it bigger until you can read it in a comfortable way yeah I like it now do the same to the scale on the y-axis I'm gonna make it bigger as well you can change colors of course yeah that's fine now I need to add titles titles we go to layout and the first one is the axis title horizontal and title below anything I type now will be reflected here so this is what this is the blood notice you're typing it's appearing here so this is the blood type and enter we'll make it bigger later but let me add now another title for the y-axis which is vertical axis and I'm gonna choose the rotated title and this one is the frequency you can call it count frequency number of uh, uh, soldiers any of these to indicate the number reflected again they're very tiny so I'm gonna make them bigger so keep pressing till you can read it clearly this is very important for the title to show so if you're not using someone else is using it can tell what is it that you're trying to describe something else that I have missed frequency here has no meaning so I need to type something over it so let's say this is the blood type example I have a mistake so let's go to it and fix it fine I'll make it bigger and make the color uh, the color let's make it in orange to make it different so now look at this table it is very professional it reflects all the categories I have I can tell that the highest rectangle I have or the highest number uh, of blood type is the O followed by B followed by A followed by the AB right by looking at the graph so it makes it very easy to look at and with this we conclude the first video